Well, so one of the funny things in the book is you yeah. wanted to be a rapper, which I, I did not know, but yeah. I somehow can see you doing. Like, okay. This is real. This is not a joke. <laughs> this is not a joke. This it's is not a real. joke. And look how hardcore I am. I'm wearing a Mighty Ducks hat. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't, didn't even I, see that. Because I did love those movies. I love but, them, yeah. Flying I mean, being a girl from the bush, uh, I like, it's not like <laughs> I had any, like, uh, rap qualifications. Um, you loved I, the music. I just really loved it. And there was a band called Criss Cross. It was, like, uh, yes. real famous. You guys know them? Yes. They had the backwards jeans and the baseball yeah. caps on. Overalls. And so and I, I thought, know. well, with my sister, we're going to form a rap group. And I think we, our name was Sisters, but with a Z. That was like, <laughs> that was hardcore. And, um, and then we basically did covers of Criss Cross songs or Will Smith was also a big at the time in Australia as a rapper. Yeah. And so I just, I learned all the lyrics from the cassette tapes. They would have oh, the booklet inserts yeah, and they yeah. have the, all the lyrics. So I'd study the lyrics and then I'd just do it and just do, like do my own beats like... <laughs> uh, uh, and like... And then my sister was the hype girl, who was like the skinniest little <laughs> white girl. Uh, and I made her be my hype girl. And we'd go in some local talent quests. Uh, I guess I just loved the swagger and confidence that rappers had. And I Do just, you have footage of this? I wish there is footage. And if anyone does you have footage release it. of us in talent quests, we never won, by the way, never ever won a talent quest. Uh, but one time we got a certificate that said highly commended. <laughs> So I have this kid again. It's like the green participation ribbon. Yeah, but then I remember I just did like a photo shoot because I really thought I was going to get signed. Uh, <laughs> I, I did a photo you. shoot and, you know, wearing that kind of gear. Yeah. At like, just like in my backyard in the bush uh, uh, with my sister and we we're trying to look all hard and everything and just be like gangster. And we just had no idea. And I wrote to record labels at the time and sent my little cassette off. Of, I had one demo song that I'd written, and it was called When Skeletons Rule the Earth. Uh, and it was probably because I maybe just thought that that was hardcore. Yeah. At the time, it was terrible. I would really love to, you to um, release that song it too. Really, it really just had one main lyric, which was, was When Skeletons Ruled the Earth. And it was just <laughs> talking about <laughs> skeletons ruling the earth. As a song, um, uh, didn't get signed. Um, but ye many, many years later, when Pitch Perfect became a massive hit, yeah. I did get offered, weirdly, to do like a white Missy Elliott album. Um, Missed opportunity, ma'am. Yeah, but I said no. I got, you know, acting, acting's for me. And uh, yeah, yeah, you have yeah, to, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I am sticking with the plan. There was a vision. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I thought, I thought, no, I won't, I won't. You, should, you know, you should, you should play a white rapper. Like, <laughs> it's not great in a movie. Yeah. You could be mean, an actor. That you, would be easy. That would be too and, easy for me. <laughs> you've already done, you've method for years. You yeah. Have all this but sometimes when I rap, some rappers will be like, oh, yeah, you have flow. Like, oh. They, it's like, thanks. Okay, well, if they're saying that, yeah. that's different. <laughs> no rapper has ever said you have flow to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, you sing well. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah.